What's up you guys, my name is Hutch and I make videos and put them on the internet. Today is Friday, January 16th and in keeping with what I said last week, I am doing a vlog today because I would like to do at least one a week. Honestly, there's not a whole hell of a lot new to report in my life except I got one of these. You can't really see it. Uh, and in fact, it's like the worst time to show you a new tattoo because anybody who's gotten one knows that like the first couple days it looks like fresh and clean and fucking solid and then like day three and four it looks like you have some skin eating bacteria virus going on so no close-ups yet but you got the gist of it and it goes all the way up like um these are still like the outlines and it goes it goes all the way up here and uh i haven't decided how i'm gonna incorporate what i want to incorporate next on it but I'm definitely going to get uh, like the, the, the Mario vines, like the 16-bit vines from uh, uh, Super Mario World. Maybe a pipe, maybe some clouds. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to um, pay an artist who knows what they're doing to, uh, to do that shit for me. Because I'm not that artistic. A few things that stuck out to me as far as news go this week. Uh, the Oscar nominees happened and I was really disappointed to see that Interstellar got snubbed. Kind of. It got nominated by, by for like two Oscars. And that was one of my favorite movies of the year. Can't say it was my favorite because that's got to go to Whiplash. I can't remember who, but I, I mean, there were plenty of you guys on Twitter that suggested that I watch that movie. And it is incredible. If you don't know anything about Whiplash, I would keep it that way. Don't do any research. Don't check out any trailers. Because if you, if you look up what the movie's about, you might be like, meh, and pass. And that would be a mistake. If I would have known what the movie was about, I wouldn't have watched it. And it's it's uh it's 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 probably the best movie of the year. But I have a bunch bunch of movies on that list. Like Captain America's on that list, Interstellar's on that list, Fox Catcher's on that list, uh, the Imitation Game's on that list. I don't know. The, the the nominees for the most part I was on board with, but I but I was really really uh, disappointed to see that something like Captain America or Guardians of the Galaxy didn't get a best uh, picture nomination. I really like to see something from. The comic book movie genre be taken seriously as far as awards ceremony goes. Uh, I think that the, that movies like those are deserving of our attention just as much as like the heavy hitter historical biography type movies like American Sniper. Like American Sniper, I gotta be honest, I was really, really underwhelmed by it. Uh, and it's kind of for a bullshit reason too. It's it's mostly because the movie, the movie um, takes way too many liberties with based on a true story. If you do just like the most basic amount of research on um, on Chris Kyle and his tours of duty in Afghanistan, you would know that like his sniper nemesis in the movie was not from Syria. He was from Iraq and he didn't like he didn't wind up fighting the same sniper every single tour that he went on. And it wouldn't have made any sense anyways, because depending on the region in Iraq that they were fighting, he would have been fighting for both the Sunnis and the Shiites, which wouldn't have happened apparently. I know there's there's a lot of um there's a lot of inaccuracies in that movie that that just kind of got to me. And it sort of felt like Oscar like patriotism patriot Oscar bait kind of movie. I mean it was entertaining, I'm gonna give you that, but but it wasn't on my top of like top five movies of the year. I mean I, I I mean I would I would probably go see it if I were you. It's 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 a it's probably worth like the ten bucks. Is it worth a Best Picture nomination? No, I don't think so. Streaming has been going like super awesome lately. The Old Men of Optic matches have been a lot of fun. I can't quite figure out like if I'm cutting them properly for YouTube stuff. I don't know if maybe I should cut them down to like more like five, six minute videos and more give you guys the highlights because I don't know how many people actually sit around and watch like a 15 minute search and destroy video. But if I post a video for, for from an Old Men of Optic match, it's because uh, there was something in the match that I thought was exciting. Like the one I posted yesterday was we started the match up 2-0 and then we like started losing bad and it was 5-2 at the end of the match and then we win four straight rounds uh, and I got an ace in one of the rounds. Like I, I just thought it was a really interesting and fun match to watch. It was definitely interesting and fun to play. And sometimes I think that that just automatically means people are going to think that it's awesome to watch. And I don't know. I haven't really quite figured that out yet. Of all my t with all my time on YouTube, like six years, and I still don't know the proper formula to entertain you guys at all times. Anyways, okay, now is going to be request time. If you guys have any requests for topics that you guys want me to talk about next week or types of videos that you would like to see 
either back on the channel or debut on the channel, then uh, pipe up in the comments and let me know. When the work is like all done on my arm, I'll, I'll show you guys like more like close-ups because I'm looking at it right now and it just looks kind of gnarly, but you can kind of get like the gist of it. There's four here and then there's like seven more that go all the way up here. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys are all safe and I'll talk to you later.